is up. The next chance, the next chance, the next chance will go to the to the member for Siaya, Honorable Christy Lombaka. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. We are discussing police brutality. We are discussing police brutality, and I must say how sad it is for this country to be living the, the horror of the police. The police demonstrated that they are actually killing the nation. A musician once sang killing the nation, and the people who kill the nation are the police who are supposed to protect the very nation that they are serving. The country looks so bad in the eyes of the international community. When you kill women and men, when you kill old people, when you kill young people who are simply demonstrating because of the high cost of living, then you really don't know what you're doing. Demonstration is a right. It is a right all over the world. And Kenya is not the only place where demonstration has taken place. It does take place all over. There's no single police that comes in the streets to kill and shoot, to kill young people who are simply expressing their rights. Therefore, this country needs to apologize to the country. The leadership of this country needs to apologize to families that have been murdered, that have been killed, those who are maimed, those who are in hospital. The image of this government is so poor, is so heartbreaking, is so horrifying. The police needs to apologize and to compensate the families that have been killed or hurt or maimed. Otherwise, this country is going down the drain. You have no right to kill your own people. Brothers are killing their own brothers. And you're killing your own sisters and your mothers. You should be ashamed as a government. We cannot continue to do that when you know very well that the people who are demonstrating are not armed. The people who are uh, demonstrating are just simply walking. I was in Syria and there was no violence at all. So you cannot talk about violence when the police themselves are violent. You cannot carry live guns and you shoot, you throw tear gas, you throw, you throw tear gas and you expect not to die. You mean those who are here, you members who are here. Who don't seem to have a heart for humanity you too your time is coming you cannot kill and continue to say and celebrate that you have killed you face other people who have guns like you and fight them but don't fight people who are not armed at all the image of this country is so bad the image of the government is so bad you owe the nation an apology and you must compensate for the lives you have killed. Thank you for giving me this Thank opportunity. Thank you, Dr. Mbaka. The next chance will go to the member for Kipkelion, uh, Honorable Hillary. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The matter before the House this afternoon is a very serious matter, Madam Speaker. And uh, Honorable Rusa Buyu, while condemning Rosa Buyu, Rosa Akin.